Hello everybody, my name is Neil O'Brien and welcome along to week two of my new series of weekly tips. Apologies I missed out last week, I had a bit of a chest infection which is better, not fully gone but hopefully my voice will be okay. So week two is called the Ice Bucket Challenge Referrals from Customers and this is the most successful marketing strategy I ever used in my business in the last 13 years. I've introduced it to lots of different businesses and it can work really, really well to get you new customers. And it's all about tapping in to your customers, your existing customers and clients and their network to get new clients. So um, the background to this, calling it the Ice Bucket Challenge, I'm sure you remember from a couple of years ago, this Ice Bucket Challenge a craze, it swept the world. And how it worked was somebody in their back garden normally would get dunked with a bucket of cold ice water and then they would nominate three of their friends to do the same thing. And their three friends would nominate three friends of theirs. So you can see that this thing went viral and spread all over the world and it was for a very good cause for motor neuron disease. But the key to the success of that was that each person would tap into their own network. Now that's why I'm calling this tip the Ice Bucket Challenge because it's the same principle. It's very, very similar. The way this works is that you have existing customers. They have a network of friends and neighbors and so on. And what you want to do is to tap into their network to get you new customers. Now, very important here, I'm not talking about organic growth here because most of us hopefully have this type of new customer already in terms of that it happens naturally. You do work for somebody, they tell a friend, a neighbor or someone who comes to you, which is great. Now that's in our existing sales. I'm talking about growing our existing sales and doing something new to get even more customers on top of the ones that come naturally or organically. So the way this works is, uh, I suppose I'll give you the background to it actually is years ago. I was, I'm in business 13 years. So I was in business probably about a year and I was at a conference and I met um, a guy from New Zealand who was telling me about his marketing and he said that he got his new customers from through referrals from existing customers and at the time I was doing lots of different marketing I was doing seminars phone mail phone networking and so on and I was amazed that this guy was getting all his new customers from his existing ones and he was very busy so he told me the system he used and I tried it and the first time I tried it, it didn't really work. Second time I tried it, it didn't work either. You know, I was starting to think maybe this only works in New Zealand. So the third time I tried it, I got two new customers and I was a fan after that and I used it regularly after that. And at one stage, I remember looking back about two years later and realizing that about 60% of my new clients had come from this method so it can work really really well and um, there's different shades of this I'm going to tell you what I did and you can see if this is uh, applicable for you maybe you'll come up with some other kind of tweak or approach on the same idea but the idea is you want your existing customers and clients to help you get new customers and clients so the way it worked for me is that what I would do is when I start working with a new client I normally will will mention to them I'll say something like look I get a lot of my new clients to referral from existing customers so as we go along I'll be asking you who you know is that okay and most people will go fine so you're planting a little seed now a good time to do this is if you've had a win with your customer so with me it's helping them grow their sales I've used this in the recent past with a wedding photographer and when he delivers his album and the couple run real high after that he asked them somebody doing kitchens I worked with recently so when they fitted the kitchen and the customer is really happy and they're delighted with their new kitchen that's a good time to ask now you don't have to but it can help to pick a time like that because your customer is going to be really happy with what you've done for them and they'll be happy to refer you so what I'd say is I'll sit down with my client and I'll say, okay, who do you know who'd like some help growing their sales and profits? Who do you know who'd like similar results to what you've gotten? <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll sit down and I'll aim to get between three and five names. Now, I might dig out their list of customers, their debtors list, suppliers list. Um, iPhone can be very good. 
I might say to them who are your business neighbours are you involved in clubs friends uh, family relations all that type of thing so I aim to get between three and five names and I'll take down the details and then I'll say to my client like if I phone these people they won't know who I am would you mind phoning them first explain to them briefly what we did together and ask are they interested in taking a phone call from me now most people are happy to do that sometimes people go no no you make the call and that's fine but most people are happy and it makes all the difference because then not only is my client marketing for me and finding new potential customers but they're also starting the sales process i'll give my client a few days to ring these people and i'll go back to my client and normally they've contacted some of these people and if it's five people they might say i've contacted three of them two of them want to take a phone call now they're very warm prospects for me because if you think about it my client has rung them told them what we've done together asked them do they want to take a phone call so if somebody's interested in taking a phone call then they have a pretty high level of interest in what i do so what i do straight away is i'll phone those people and i'll arrange a meeting with them and quite often that will lead to a new client for me now this works really really well i've shared this idea with hundreds and hundreds of businesses now i find quite often i'd say nine out of ten times i share this with somebody people are quite resistant to it they go they say things like oh no that's too pushy uh, oh no i couldn't do that no my, my clients wouldn't like that no no that wouldn't work for my business i can't do that or i couldn't do that now i know this works so the only reason it won't work is if because is if you don't think it'll work for your business but i would appeal to you to keep an open mind with this because this will work really really well now I think deep down one of the reasons why people are a bit resistant to it is because when they ask their client maybe they're afraid that there's something about what they've delivered for their client they're not happy with but I mean to me that's another reason for asking like I remember guy, the guy doing the kitchen saying but what happens if my the customer isn't happy with the kitchen well I'd say well would you want to know that or not uh, he went well yeah I suppose I would because if the customer isn't happy they're only going to be bad mouthing you around the place you're better off finding out if there's an issue and sort it out then if you sort it out then they'll be happy to give you referrals so the whole idea is to tap into your your customers network now even if you feel that that's a bit pushy for you what I would encourage you to do is think about maybe some other way that you can tap into your customers and their network to get clients the wedding photographer I worked with um, I've worked with a couple of photographers in the recent past what they did is uh, the wedding photographer would just give a maybe give a voucher for the couple to pass on to their friends the general photographer who did with families and so on did the same thing and what he found is within about three or four weeks he went from being quiet to being very very busy it worked really well for him kitchen kitchen company again to supply kitchens um, and what I'd say to them is wait about a week and go back because you know that the customer will have shown off the kitchen to their neighbours and friends and so on go back about a week later make sure everything is okay and then ask for names now I've done this for all kinds of service providers engineers people who do social media and so on it'll work really really well so what I'll say to you is you have a one pager again that accompanies this video when I print off the one pager have a look at it if you feel the, the approach I used will work for you great use it if you want some other approach and think something else will work for you fine but the most important thing I will say to you is that in the next week come up with some idea or way that you can go and approach your customers and look for new customers from them because if you think about it there's lots of potential customers out there for you and for me in business now most of these people don't know who you are and don't know what you do your customers do your customers do unless you see you've done a very good job for the customers they know you and know the, they know the quality of what you've done so what you're doing is you're tapping into the goodwill and the time and effort that you've put in with your existing customers so that they can spread the word for you and believe me people are more than happy to do it I mean think about it if somebody comes into your home a plumber and does a very good job are you happy to refer them on to your friends well of course you are because they've done a good job for you your customers will be happy to refer you on to people if you give them an opportunity they'll be more than happy to do it so why not talk to your customers and see how you can approach that together 
Now, just on the one pager, it's accompanying this video, it should be just above it. What you have there is the Ice Bucket Challenge referral from customers. It says list off some of your best customers. So go through, in your mind, go through who some of your best customers are or people you have a good relationship with that you feel you can go and talk to them. I have a script there. The script is something like, you know, I'll say a great time to ask a customer when they're on a high. And my script is something like this. I'll say, John or Mary, many of my new customers come from referrals from existing ones. So would it be okay if we sat down and discussed who you know who may be interested in getting... And there's a blank space there where you can put in the benefit of what you do. So the wedding photographer will say, do you know anyone who's interested in getting great photographs of their special day? Then you sit down with the customer, aim to get between three and five names, take down the details, and then I would ask my customer, would you mind making a phone call to introduce me and see if your contact is interested in taking a phone call from me? Okay, that works really, really well. Um, here's my details again if you have any questions email me neilaquantum.ie be delighted to hear from you um, hope you found this tip useful please please try it out keep an open mind on this and try it out in the next week and I guarantee you this will work for you okay bye for now